Cinema 4D Release 18 has a new effect shader that is to be found in the effect shaders drop down menu and that is called Thin Film. And Thin Film is perfect for uh, all kinds of transparent objects, maybe camera lenses, maybe cocktail glasses, maybe sunglasses, maybe just a soap bubble as you can see here. And uh, the Thin Film shader is simulating a film that is thin enough that light traveling to the inside of the object and from the inside to the outside is causing a light interference in combination with the varying thickness of the film. And both of them, the interference and the varying thickness of the film, are causing these rainbow colors. So um, that is perfect to give uh, transparent objects a slightly more natural, not more naturalistic touch. So um, let's have a look um, where to place the thin film shader and the proper place to use it is the reflectance channel because uh, with a thin film shader you want to colorize, to, to color um, your reflections and um, the proper place to use the thin film shader is one of your reflectance layers inside the reflectance channel. And the proper place inside the reflectance layer is the slot layer color. So that is the place to use the thin film shader, simulating light interference caused by um, a varying thickness of the film. So let's jump right into the thin film shader and look what's inside there. Uh, in general, you have the possibility to color your reflections, uh, your thin film effect further on with a color field or the possibility to load in uh, shaders or bitmaps from this drop-down menu. Um, further on you have some more interesting parameters. Um, which, uh, first of them is thickness and thickness is about the thickness of the film of course uh, given in nanometers and with, let's say, the factory default of 500 nanometers, um, you have a good starting point because that is the average uh, area of the average spectrum of visible natural light. Um, the next parameter is the variation, uh, parameter variation, and this is just defining on how much difference uh, there is overall all over the film uh, in terms of thickness. So this is just the variation of the thickness parameter. And alongside with that also of course uh, let's say a random seed for uh, the, the occurring uh, rainbow colors. With the slot texture you have the possibility to um, uh, to, to give the rainbow color effect uh, some kind of structure. If you leave that uh, empty, uh, see that you have uh, a more or less um, homogeneous uh, appearance of your effect and with the grayscale information of let's say a noise shader, um, you can give that a much more sophisticated structure. So as you can see, um, the noise shader is defining uh, the scale and structure of the rainbow colors occurring on the film. So if you go into the noise shader here and let's say dial in 500% as a global scale, you see that is influencing heavily the overall appearance of the rainbow color effect. So heading back to uh, the thin film parameters, we have three parameters left that have something to do with the viewing angle uh, dependency of our thin film effect. As you can see, the sharper your viewing angle gets, the stronger uh, the effect is appearing. So that has something to do with an effect we know from other places in Cinema 4D's shading system that is called uh, the Fresnel effect. 
and Fresnel has something to do with index of refraction. So the sharper your viewing angle gets, the stronger your effect gets and the more perpendicular your viewing angle gets, as you can see here, uh, the weaker your thin film effect in this case uh, is getting. So um, we have some presets here at, uh, at your, our fingertips like uh, milk, pearl, PET, whatever. Or you can just, just um, type in an individual value for your uh, Fresnel effect, for your index of refraction. And um, this is, of course, uh, varying the color spectrum. And by the way, uh, in terms of color spectrum, uh, thickness is, of course, also varying the color spectrum uh, applied uh, in this case. So let's dial in some different values. And as you can see, this is not only affecting the, the, the raw thickness of the film, but also, of course, uh, the color spectrum that is applied to the effect. So let's choose another example, maybe 700 nanometers, and you see this is heavily influencing the overall appearance of the thin film shader.